Hello from New York. Today, hope dope dancing, punishing hate, frightened empty minds. This spiritual sickness needs Dr. Kamala. High on empty, positive-sounding phrases and fear-based imaginations and thoughts. Keep voters dumbed down and rallying around single issues they have never thought about in any seriously objective way. The better educated see through this, but in politics they use speeches to avoid offending ignorance and tailor their statements as if talking to third graders. When poverty is allowed, many are too busy to notice this dodging of real issues, busy doing all they can to put food on the table and keep themselves housed warm, cool, safe, and fed, trying to get along with neighbors of differing opinions and without the extra time to explore which are correct. They vote for the people that make them laugh, that they would have a soda or beer with. When the workers party called the Democratic Party tries to help voters, the uh, party of the greedy rich, do all they can to keep them focused on their fears and divided against themselves. Voters, you know. Some politicians use inflammatory rhetoric to distract voters from the real needs that they all share. This same party of the rich work to limit how many vote and who gets to vote. Because as they have said before in this party, when more vote, we tend to lose. Religious concepts that emphasize punishment to almost the complete absence of any healing of minds are very useful to the greedy party that wants not a democracy, but a pretend democracy ruled by a few folks, wealthy and living off the backs of hardworking folk, even the ones that risk their lives to keep the streets and homes and businesses safe, clean and healthy, and teachers who reach into their own pockets to educate our kids. This may sound harsh, but to those to whom much is given, much is required. Thus, much higher taxes must be paid while giving no small group the funds to buy the government in clever ways. Yes, we're giving it to them, giving it to the rich when we don't tax them and they take advantage of everything the roads, the education, everything. Meanwhile, workers are trading partners who have the right to organize, just as businesses do, thus giving the ability to help fund a government truly of, by, and for the people. Well, let's not make false equivalent statements to give a pass to the far-right controlling greed-rich few nor forget that even the poor can be greedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, but for what you can do for the country. And this includes the wealthy, who should make sure that greed doesn't have children hungry and the elderly, the struggling, and the poor on the street. Democrats can't save our nation without the help of the majority of hardworking Americans organizing, voting, and demanding th things to be done. 
No, not just during elections, but when the noise and clamor and posturing is done, demand representatives fulfill their promises by having watchdogs recording all they do. Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh and all the Democrats need support in every way we can deliver it. This fight is a fight for virtue and democracy. And we have a prosecutor who can do the job and a wingman that can back her up. Healing minds begins with the power of your inner voice, but it must expand to the greatest voice of all, our votes. That said, have a wonderful day.